that he received him today, he gave up. Anywhere you think you have failed in your life, that is where God will bless you. That is where God will surprise you. That is where God will elevate you. My highest desire for this church is that nobody here will go to hell. What a mighty God we serve. This God is too much. And it's so big that the whole world cannot contain him. Because he's the creator of the whole universe. Do you have any problem? Come around. You will know that he can solve any problem. And I want you to know that Jesus loves you. And will love you too. I am Dr. Messi Ezekiel. I welcome you to the hour of grace. And I want you to know that you are blessed because you are somebody. We love you. First Samuel chapter 10. First Samuel chapter 10 and verse 3. The gospel according to good. First Samuel chapter 10 and verse 3. Have you seen it? It's in the Old Testament. Reuben George, read. Then shalt thou go on forward from thence. Thou shalt come wait, to wait, the... Wait, wait, wait. Read again. Then shalt thou go on forward from thence. Wait. Some people are yet to take up what is dropped before them. Read again. Now, follow the reading of the word. The word has leg and hand. It can touch you. If it is possible, after reading, I will go and sit down. But for conscience sake, I will still stand to allow God to navigate for us. Read. Then, then shall thou go on forward. Shall thou go on from thence. From thence. And thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor. Thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor. And there shall meet thee three men. There shall meet thee three men. Going up to God to Bethel. <laughs> Going up to God to better the house of God. One. One. Carrying three kids. One. Carrying three goats. And another. Another. Carrying three loaves of bread. Carrying three loaves of bread. And another. Another. Carrying a bottle of wine. Carrying a bottle of wine. There are three things there, but I will only pick one. Gospel according to good. You can take your seat. God has used so many illustrations to give us the message of life. God is beautiful in, a, in a, every condition. He can use anything. God is speaking all the time. He spoke once, I had it twice. How can that be? That God is ready to receive your thanksgiving. Let me navigate this message as it were. George, read again. Then shall thou go on forward. Thou shalt go on forward. From thence. From thence. Thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor. 
Go ahead. And there shall meet the three men going up to God to Bethel. You shall meet three men going up to Bethel. One. One. Carrying three kids. Three goods or three kids. And another. Another. Carrying three loaves of bread. Carrying three loaves of bread. And another. Another. Carrying a bottle of wine. A bottle of wine. What a graphic gospel. We only pick one, leave the other ones. I will pick good, the gospel according to good. Do you understand me? Say good. God, in sundry times, spoke by the prophets. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. God in different manners speak to read it. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 and 2. Let us navigate this world given to us this morning. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 and 2. God who at sundry times God who at sundry times and in diverse manners and in diverse manners spake in time past spake in time past unto the fathers unto the fathers by the prophets by the prophets has in these last days has uh, when do you think that last day started has in this last day is it 2000 and what? Tell me, what do you have in mind that is last days? No idea? Huh? Church, what do you have in your mind? I want, to, I want us to navigate this thing together. What, what time do you have in your mind that is last days? Huh? These days, let me tell you the last day, the day of Pentecost. Last day started at the day of Pentecost. Check it. How many years now? We are now in the last of the last days. My God, my Lord Jesus can come at any time. George, you read again. God, who at sundry times, who at diver times, and in diverse manners, yes, spake in time past. In diver manners, that is graphic. He used so many illustrations to speak. Uh -huh. Spake in time past unto the fathers. Spake in time past unto the fathers. By the prophets. By the prophets. You As, know, you know I, I, I will take you there. In the Old Testament, the prophets speak in a, a terrible and a miserable way to ordinary person. Prophets speak from top to top. At times they don't come down. They speak from head to head. You'll be wondering, what is this prophet saying? For example, prophet Ezekiel, not me, Prophet Ezekiel was told, um, Thou man of God, you will preach in the morning. In the evening, your, your wife will die. What? Preaching in the morning, and in the evening, your, your wife will die? Not only that. He said, when she died, don't cry. Somebody's wife died. He said, don't cry. God, I don't understand. You don't have to understand. God is God in his own class. He doesn't negotiate. He told one of the prophets, he said, look, for one month, don't, when you lie down, lie one side. Don't bend. Don't turn to the other side. 
God is sending, sending some graphic pictures speaking in diaper manners. I thank God I was not of the Old Testament because I can't handle it. He told the other prophet, he said, look, take a scale When you finish going to the toilet, take the sheet, rub on your body. Carry on like that. Let it, it, can, be, it can be smelling, continue. Hey, the prophet said, oh, I can't understand. He said, I don't, I don't have to tell you to understand. That is my message. Rub yourself with feces. He asked God, my Lord, please, let it be another physics. Have mercy. God said, okay, take cow physics. The cow, when cow finish going to the toilet, take the physics, rub on your body. But for she to, you must rub shit. The prophet said, I can manage that. He rubbed shit all over his body. Going smelling. He asked God, Can you explain to me? He was jittering when he was asking God. Because you have no right to ask. What is all this? He said, This is how the sheet of my people smelling in my nose. Room. Now, this is another graphic demonstration. God, in time past, speak to us by the prophets. George, read remaining verse 2. Has in these last days, has in this last day from the day of Pentecost, that's the beginning of last days, spoken unto us. Now, right from the day of Pentecost, God is moving. God is a moving God from January to this, from, from uh, Genesis to uh, Revelation. He always moves from Genesis chapter one verse one to Revelation twenty two. God is a moving God. Go and check it. He never stops, and it's moving now as I'm speaking. The spirit of God is moving, and the spirit of life, the testimony of Jesus. Is the spirit of prophecy. Watch. You may not understand some of the things being uttered out. But go. The God of understanding will give you understanding. I am your pastor. Pastor speaks from ground to ground, not from top to top. Pastors and teachers together. They speak from ground to ground. That's why at times I decide to teach. But the prophets speak from top to top. You may not understand them. They will tell you, say the Lord, finish. Somebody is thinking so many things now. Don't be embarrassed. Continue looking at me. Look. George, read. Continue. This last day, as in this last day, spoken unto us, spoke, is speaking unto us by his son, by his son, whom he has appointed her of all things. He has appointed her of all things. By whom also, by whom also, he made the words. As in this last day, spoken by his son, George. If you are waiting for God to do any other thing, God has only one language. Go and expound it. That one language He has can fill the whole world. That language is Son, S O N. Jesus Christ. Is everything you need.
You don't need any other prophet. Jesus Christ is all and all. In him we move and live and have our being. He is the Alpha and the Omega. The first and the last. No other foundation can any man lay. God has laid the only foundation. Jesus Christ the Lord. Chai. God. The voice and language of God in this last days is his son Jesus. Having said that, go back to 2 Samuel, uh, 1 Samuel chapter 10, where he was speaking in graphic. He spoke in the book of Hebrews plainly. And now let us see the graphic. Go back to 1 Samuel chapter 10. Three things mentioned. George remind them by reading it. They shall not go on forward from this. <laughs> Don't stay stagnant. Go forward. Go forward spiritually. Go forward. Knowledgeably. Go forward. You will go forward. Come on, let us navigate into the unknown. God is making things known to us. The spirit of knowledge and wisdom is granted to the church. And thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor. Thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor, uh, with the oak, the oak area. Uh -huh. And there shall meet the three men going up to God to Bethel. They are going to Bethel, the city, the, the city of the place of worship. One, one carrying three kids. One carrying three kids or three goods. And another carrying three loaves of bread. Another carrying three loaves of bread. And another carrying a bottle of wine. Another carrying a bottle of wine. This is the message. Let me pick one. Good. Everyone say good. Good. But before I pick or, uh, or, or, or explain to you good, that bread is very important. Bread. Three loaves of bread. He's speaking about the legitimacy of the king. The authority of the king. He's not talking about King Saul. King Saul is just the graphic. But there's a king of kings. There is king of all kings. Three loaves of bread. I don't know how many of you here normally feast on that bread. This is my body, the bread of life. One of the greatest food you can, or not one of, is the greatest food, is the bread that comes down from heaven. Go to this place of worship. A man is carrying three loaves of bread. Take it and eat. Why am I here? I'm not here or any pastor here on, the, on, on, on his own or her own. I'm, I'm not behind this pulpit on my own. I'm not fit. I am not qualified to stand before you and declare the word of God of heavens. I say it again, the longest journey in my life 
it from my chair to behind this pulpit. I tremble. In the Old Testament, if you are not careful, once you step in, you die if you are not qualified. The high priest go to the holies of holies only once in a year. The day of atonement. And when he is there, they will tie a bell on his, on his waist. Nobody can peep in there. Only the high priest will go and trust God for mercy. Because any time is dead and nobody can go in to draw the dead body out. So they will use that chain to draw him out. Mercy, would you like to be a pastor of that Old Testament? He said no. Elias. Huh? You don't want to be a full time again? What of George? <laughs> All of them declined. You don't know the meaning of New Testament. New Testament, New Covenant. What God has done for us, my mouth cannot say it. That a poor sinner, wretched sinner like me, can go into the holies of holies and obtain grace. Who am I to handle this book? And open it. When you open this book, remove the paper, remove the ink, spirit will appear. That's why we are here. The word of life and spirit. I said, remove the paper, remove the paper, remove the ABC that was written on the paper. Once you can remove it by faith, you will see him whom we worship. The living word. Go! Take the bread. One more time this morning, I offer you that bread. Eat! And you shall not die. That is by the way. The second thing there is bottle of wine. Not three bottles, only one bottle. Bottle of wine. Wine represents the blood. Do you know as we are here now, the blood of new covenants is speaking. Better things than the blood of goat and, and the Every other thing. Even the blood of Abel. Without the blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. You that is coming here for the first time, thank God that you are here. And it will be useless for you to be here without opening yourself to the blood of cleansing. No matter how terrible is your sin, Oh man, oh woman. No matter how terrible is your sin. Look at me. I repeat. No matter how terrible is your sin. Only a drop of the blood will dissolve it. The cleansing power of the blood, the efficacy of the blood cannot be overemphasized. Any better, you have the bread, you have the cleansing power of the blood. Then, who are the qualifiers to receive all these things? Good. Ah. What kind of good are you? What kind of goat are you? You are looking at me. Many of you are goat. Not many of you, all of all, all of you. The greatest miracle of all miracles 
is that goat can become a sheep. The greatest miracle of all miracles is that a snake can be a child of God. The greatest miracle of all miracles is that a stone can speak. John said God can cause this stone to be children of God. And here we are. Have you ever thought about it? Impossibilities that became possible. Dumb stone, nasty snake became children of God. We don't know this God we are worshipping. It's too much God. That a miserable man like me from village unknown can turn to be a Bible preacher. You you looking at me or hearing me you are not a different person. The same thing you are nothing. But God turn you to be a child of God. Come on, give him praise. Can I say without any regrets, every Sunday you have good in the church. I don't know how many goods are here. How many goods? Let me tell you about these goods. <laughs> these goods are not ordinary goods. Some of them are some of them are smelling good, he good, than the church smelling. Some of them are Pouring goods than the church pouring by their fruit you shall know them. Three goods in the church. Which side are you? Are you the pouring type or the smelling type? You are sitting on your seat, ready to fight. You are sitting on that seat, smelling. But the Somebody by your side may not know that you are smelling because you cover yourself with dress. <laughs> Only God Almighty who sees in the spirits can hear the order. But he has made a provision of cleansing. Look at by your side. It is the blood. Nothing can wash away that smelling but the blood. Provision is available. Goods. Three type of goods. Number one. Goods. That quarter. Are you quarreling with God? Some, some people here are quarreling with God. They don't know. Ezekiel, how am I quarreling with God? Some of you say, a whole me. God is not fair. Who cares? You are asking God, telling him it's not fair. Not fair for what? For not giving you that money. For allowing that thing to happen to you. Who cares? What is man that God is mindful of him? You accuse God, you fight God. Say, God is not fair. Do you know what you are saying? You aren't. Or you don't know that you are ant. 
you a small jam worm. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I have taken my time to go to a lab. I met lab scientist, technician. I said, please, can I get your permission to look what is happening inside here? He gave me the instruments. I look. The seed that men used to produce, you call it sperm, whatever you call it. I look to see the wonders of God. When I was looking at him, millions, millions of seeds, swimming, 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 every, every one of them struggling to enter. I said, my brother, what is going on here? He said, this is what people are seeing every day. They are, all these things, all these spams, all these seeds, every one of them can be a human being. I said, but why are there so many? He said, that is wonders of God. They are swimming, struggling to fertilize the egg of a woman. Upon all this, only one or two can enter. When you were in your mother's womb, you were struggling, you were jam, you were, you were, you were, you were, you were, you were nobody. And you struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle, God was watching you. You are swimming, 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 swimming. You push other one, other others aside, and you swim, swim. God was guiding you. And you swim and enter the egg and fertilize the womb of your mother. If you see how you wear, you will you will you you, you will take any any anything from a man. I was watching. They were swimming, 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 swimming. When they swim and there was no way, they die. You will have been washed away, but God preserve you. Watching at you, you struggle and struggle and struggle. Finally, God was directing you. You entered the, the egg of your mom. Fertilize it. When I was looking at this thing, the, the hair of this seed, some of them as big as football, I said, how can this? God know how to bring it to a size. He get tell you, do you know that you are, <laughs> you are like a monkey before? You get there. But God knows how to circumcise this. God knows how to circumcise everything. I was looking. I called the scientist. I said, is it how everybody came to the world? He said, yes, including me. Then I, I, I did not like myself again. I said, is this a, what kind of gada gada are you making? Look at how you wear. I don't know how God started to put hand, leg, eyes, ears, every part of your body, God ordered it. Wonder, wonder. You are wonderfully and fearfully made. That's why for you to have bought a child, you are committing a crime. One week, two weeks, one month, two months, three months, as case may be, you reach nine months. You begin to kick, kick, kick. I want to come out. Kick, kick. I want to come out. 
Your mother, you disfigured her. Your mother, who had been walking straight before, when you kick, 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 the woman bend. If you walk about only few posts, he will sit. She will sit down and rest. Wonders of God. You don't know that you are in another world. And when you came out from your mother's womb, when you come out, the first thing that we hear is that you cry. Who beat you? Who beat you? Sin. Go and look a child that come out from the womb. So ugly. No beauty that you may desire him. That child stay one month, two months, three months. And you must cry to show that you are in the world. <laughs> you begin to grow. One month, two months, three months, four months, five months. You are becoming a, a somebody. And from there, you begin to sit down, begin to eat, begin to go to school. When you go to when you went to, when you went to school, by and by, you begin to fight. From there, yes, you are still growing. Then you become a businessman. Look at them here. You become sissy. Look at them here. Wonders of goods. And you begin to fight. You who have died in the womb. Instead for you to give your life to Jesus Christ, you begin to fight. If you bring ten goats here, leave them together. Say, stay and come. In. When you go there, and before you come back, those goats, one of them will stand up. Look at the other one. For no just cause. Look at the other one. He will stand up. Uh, he bow. Hit them. Who, who told you to fight? This thing is inside of him. There are some goats like that in the church. They fight God. They fight anybody. They fight with their mouth. They fight with their character. They fight and fight. Uh, Jesus said, you must be born again. If you stay like this, you can't see me in the kingdom. They fight. And some people, they may not even Fight as such, but they are smelling he good. They are smelling he good. If you stay with he good, woman he good, in the church, sit near them. Small time you will hear the order. Ha! That boy, if I see him, I show him by their fruit. You know them. And that, that, that sister, did she think that she's the only one smelling? He good. Who are you here? Are you he good? Ordinary good. Good in the church. After the service, they will go home with two legs. Next Sunday, they will come. Since you have been going to church, have you changed your color? Have you changed your nature 
from goat to sheep. If you don't know what to say to God, say, God, I thank you for changing me from goat to sheep. But there are some goats that are gentle. They will follow the sheep. They will not cause any parable. From there, God of miracle will change them. They will migrate from goat to sheep. The smelling will be no more. Their tongue will be tamed. Their leg will be shod with the gospel of peace. Their eyes will not be going to and fro. You are looking at a woman. You are looking at a man. Your eyes will be single. What kind of goat are you? What kind of worship are you? I'm sorry that at times I preach like this. Well, finally, whatever category of goat you are, I want to assure you, there is a miracle of redemption. Look at the bottle of wine, blood. What can wash away my goat sheep? What can wash away, wash away my smelling odor? What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood. Nothing. No matter the amount of prayer you are praying without the blood, you are still, you are still is still there. No matter how many days of fasting you are making without the blood, you are seeing as still there. Confession without the blood is not enough. Anybody can, 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 can pray prayer. The heathen are praying prayer. But the difference is that the blood of cleansing. Without the blood, no forgiveness of sin. Nothing. In the church, I am calling all that has not known Jesus to know him. Luke 18. Don't open it. Two men were in the church. One of them a Pharisee. He came to the church. Stand up before the altar. He prayed the prayer of God. God, I am here. I'm here to give you thanks. I normally pay my tithe one tenth of all my income. I come here with money to thank you. I come here with a bag of gari, bag of rice to thank you. I normally fast two times a week. I normally give to the poor. God, I'm a good man. I fast twice a week. Every Wednesday, every Friday. God, I'm not like this man. Santimonious pomposity. You are comparing yourself with another person. You warm. You smelling good. Who just received mercy from God? Other people are nobody to you. Yeah! And not like other people, even this man here praying. This man. 
and not like him. Judiciously, I do my things. And Jesus said, man, a Pharisee, a Sadducee, two of them together in the church. Jesus said, the other man, a publican, did not even look up to heaven. He was beating his chest. Beating where the sin was. He did not look up. He was ashamed of himself. He bowed down. Goat. God can make a snake to be his child. No matter how sinful you are, you are in the church. There's a bottle of wine, the blood, that can cleanse somebody now. The man beat his chest. And he said, Oh God, have mercy upon me. Have mercy. Have mercy. God was looking at him. He humbled himself. Beat his chest. Very, very, very penitent. And Jesus said, that man went home justified. Is a grace. Went home justified. Or the other man went home and remained good. Don't go home and remain a good. Because if you remain a good, who, who, who will take your offerings? Who will take your thanksgiving offerings? You just give in vain. Just like you are just deceiving yourself. Repentance is the order of the day. Repent or you will likewise perish. Finally, if you look at John chapter 8, you have heard me say on this, I want to repeat it again. Reverend George, John chapter 8, we close. From verse 1. Jesus went on to the Mount of Olives. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. And early in the morning, he came again into the temple. He came early in the morning into the temple. And all the people came unto him. Yes. And he sat down and he, touched them. He sat down and touched them. Now, many a times you think that a preacher must stand up. One day, one what? One day you see me sitting down here. I sit down, relax. Open my Bible to teach. You can judge me if you like. With my age, I think I can, I can be sitting down. Huh? Thank you for that permission. You have given me the permission to sit down. Hmm. Thank you for loving me like that. I love you too. Jesus sat down. I am not greater than Jesus. And teach the people. Uh huh. Read. And the scribes and the Pharisees The scribes and the Pharisees Troublemakers Brought unto him a woman taken in adultery Brought unto him a woman Taken in adultery And when they have set her in the midst When they have set her in the midst They said unto him They said unto Jesus Master Master This woman This woman Was taken in adultery Was taken in adultery In the very act In the very act now, now, Moses in the law. He, they quoted Moses. Where to? They quoted who? Moses. Be very careful how you compare people with Jesus. Nobody is to be compared with Jesus. He's, he's savior in his own class. He has no comparison. They say Moses. Moses did what? Moses in the law in the law commanded us commanded us that such should be stoned that such should be stoned but 
Bet. What sayest thou? Bet. Uh, Moses gave us authority to stone this woman. Bet. What do you say? Jesus, are you hearing us? What do you say? We want to hear you. They were carrying stones in their hand. What do you say, Jesus? Good. Raising up their horn to, 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 to hit. What do you say? Before we release the stones. <laughs> Read on. This they said. This they said. Tempting him. They were tempting him. Don't tempt the grace of God. Never you tempt the grace of God. The grace of God that can make a snake to be a child. Don't query it. Don't call somebody a raw sinner, no matter what. God can turn that person to be a saint. Don't condemn somebody as far as the person is alive. None of you here will go to hell. Uh, as far as the grace of God is concerned, none of you here will go to hell. Unless you want to go by yourself. It is never the will of God, no matter what terrible sin you have committed. Only a drop of Jesus' blood will cleanse it. Uh -huh. Read. Tempting him. They, are, they were tempting Jesus. That they might have to accuse him. That they might have to accuse him. But, but Jesus stooped down. Thank God. Anywhere you see but in the Bible, check it. But Jesus did what? Stooped, stooped down. down. Humble. And with his finger. With his what? Everyone say it louder. Finger. What minutes finger? It's very important. That finger there is not ordinary finger. It was the finger that wrote Belshazzar out of the throne. Mene, mene, take care of person. Finger. Whenever the finger appears, be very careful. <laughs> this is the finger of God, the magician said. This morning before I close, I humble myself to tell you that finger is here again. No matter how sinful you are, you have not committed unpardonable sin. You have not. If you have committed unpardonable sin, you will not be here. No. Don't allow the devil to accuse you to stoop up. You have not committed any unpardonable sin. In short, your sins are forgiven. No matter the name of that sin, I say as far as the blood of Jesus Christ. Is there, look, is there anyone in the bottle in Bethel? Is there anyone in the bottle in Bethel? Oh, you don't follow the message. In the place of worship, the blood is there. Nobody will condemn you. Go and sin no more. Even though you have sinned 490 times a day, you are forgiven. And Jesus stood down. Uh -huh. When he stood down, what happened? And with his finger wrote on the ground as though he had them. He down. wrote on the ground. What did he write on the ground? He wrote, Your sins are forgiven. I have preached it before. Go and check it again. This is a wonderful woman God has made in his own image. And the Pharisees and the Sadducees and whatever have you, they disqualify him. They condemn her. They condemn her when God has not condemned her. As far as there's breath, put your hand in your chest. Are you still breathing? There is hope. There is hope. Beyond the grave. Uh -huh. 
as though he heard them not as though he did not hear what they were saying go ahead so when they continued asking him when they continued asking Jesus say something now he lifted up himself he lifted up himself and said unto them and said unto them he that is without sin among you he that is without sin among you let him first cast a stone at her let him first cast the stone let me see the person and again and again he stooped down he and stood wrote down. on the ground when he wrote he looked up anybody who wants to stone cast the stone on her he bent down Can I say, no sin or, or demon can condemn you. You have not committed the sin unpardonable. No matter. Let your conscience be clear. You are going home a free man. Your sins are forgiven thee. You will hear Jesus say it now. Don't tell me that your sin is too much. If your sin is too much, Jesus is too much. Jesus, who forgive your sin, is too much Jesus. <laughs> Tell me! If your sin is too much, I say Jesus is too much. Let nobody condemn you. Uh -huh. Read. And they which had it, and they which had it being convicted by their own conscience they they saw what was written what jesus was what jesus was writing was what is written in the book of psalms he wrote it he is the author and finisher but it's not written there that is written in the book of psalms but little here little here scripture can interpret scriptures uh -huh. being convicted by their own conscience they were convicted by the writing of that scriptures went out they went out one by one how many by many one by one they don't want anybody to. they say uh, bro are you still here i'm going to <laughs> uh, i'm going see what he wrote Can I say something before I close? The accuser of the brethren, Satan himself, cannot condemn you. Anytime Satan reminds you of your sin, remind him of hell. Eh, you are going to hell. You are going to hell. See what you have done. See, see what you have done. Eh, I have done that. I agree. But Satan, look up. You are going to hell and there's no remedy. But for me, my sins are forgiven now. Finally, read, read, read. Beginning at the elders, beginning at the elders, even unto the last. The, even to the last. And Jesus was left alone. Jesus was left alone. Don't trouble me. Leave me alone. And the woman standing in the midst. And woman standing in the midst. When Jesus has lifted up himself, when Jesus lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he saw none but the woman. He said unto her, He said unto her, Woman, woman, wait, 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 wait. sister, brother, Jesus is seeing nobody but yourself sanctified. And he said unto you, Woman, man, uh -huh. where are those thy accusers? Where are those people who accuse you? Has no man condemned thee? So no man condemned me. No man follow you here. No man. Those who condemn you, no, they, they are not here. She they said, are gone. Uh -huh. She said. She said. No man, Lord. No man, Lord. Hear me before I quit. No human being born of a woman can condemn you. No matter the sin you have committed, 
they have no right, no capacity, no audacity to condemn you. Huh? And Jesus said unto her, Jesus said unto the woman, Neither do I condemn thee. Neither do I condemn you. Go, go, and sin no more. I say to you, go. I say to you, go. I say unto you, do what? Go. Go and give your offering. Go and give God thanks. Do I tell you that you are a free man? You are a free woman. Go. But sin no more. Shall we pray? You are welcome back. I know you enjoy the word of God, which is life. And I know your life will never ever remain the same. After you must have had the word of God, please make best use of the word. Don't let your life be the same again. Because Jesus Christ is coming soon. Why don't you give your life to Jesus Christ? Today might be the only day you have. I call you to give your life to Jesus. And if you are sick, you are healed. We'll see you next week. Bye. International Headquarters, Tenant 12 Matrix Salami Street, Ajawa Estate, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. Please outrage, reaching out to the trouble zones. Don't miss it. CPR, Jesus Christ is Lord. God has a plan for you. A plan to give you a bright future. Come and experience expository teachings and a powerful prophetic breakthrough service this Sunday at Christian Pentecostal Mission International with God's anointed servants. Reverend Dr. O. Isikam, the General Overseer. Reverend Dr. Mercy Isikam, Co-Pastor, National and International Coordinator and other anointed servants of God. Worship with us this Sunday at 8.30 a.m. at Christian Pentecostal Mission International Headquarters. 10 and 12 Matip Salami Street at Jawa Estate along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. You can also worship with any CPM International branch close to you. It will be a time of salvation, healing, deliverance in the presence of God. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord.